What's up everyone, Jack here. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to recover private browsing on Android so you can protect your, uh, your children, your loved ones, or even protect yourself from people who would do you harm. So for those of you who don't know, I am the lead investigator at Spy Guy Investigations. And I've been testing spy software for about 10 years now. And now I'm sharing my knowledge with you. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Let's see if we can uh, recover Android browsing history in Cognito mode. All right, guys, so we're going to break this down into three parts. The first part is going to be choosing the mobile monitoring software. So um, the software that I use and I recommend is called Flexispy. This works on the latest versions of Android is completely hidden. It works on an uh, iPhone as well and iPad and Android tablets. So um, this is the software I recommend. Now we need to just verify that the phone is compatible. So you would go to compatibility, um, select Android, and um, let's open up my phone. Oops, okay. Let's open up the phone. Go to settings, about. And now we're just trying to make sure that the software will work on the phone. So if I have a OnePlus and the and model is seven. Um, as for the variant, um, I don't know the variant. I could find out, but, and I'm on Android 10. Aha, okay, so Fluxispy will work on this phone. And um, the second thing we need to do is just verify that Flexispy have this feature. So these are the packages that they offer, light, premium, and extreme. Um, light being the most affordable. Okay, and I can see the browsing activity there is on light. Uh, see all websites visited, even if the browser is in the incognito or private browsing mode. So then you would just go ahead and buy now. Um, once you've purchased, you'll get a welcome email from Flexispy. That email will contain your login credentials. And when you're logged in the portal, here I am now, uh, you will be brought to like a how to install page. And you can either choose to install it yourself or you can use the installation service. If you want to install it yourself, I actually made a video a couple days ago called how to install Flexus by or how to spy on an Android phone in 2022. And in that video, I go through the installation process. You can just skip to that section. Um, so anyways, back to, to uh, this. So once you install the software, then the last part will be capturing and viewing incognito history. So let's go to the phone. You can see the phone I have here. Um, we're going to open a new tab and let's go to CNN. Okay. So I'll go in the data tab in my Flexus by portal and I'll go to web activity. Okay. And that is, uh, CNN edition.cnn.com because it went to CNN and then it did a redirect. So we can see that. It's working there. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. Okay, and um, now let's go ahead and open an incognito. Oops, let me show you that. Let's go ahead and open an incognito browsing. And let's go to theguardian.com. Okay, and let's go to sport. And then I will close out of that and I'll be back in the normal browser. And let's see if Flexispy captured it. Okay, great. So as we can see here, Flexispy did capture uh, the Guardian, UK Sport and International, I believe was a redirect. Uh, you can then, if you want to favorite uh, certain events here, every certain captured events. You can also use the search functionality 
to find any um, specific websites uh, the target has visited. You can export as CSV, Excel, SX if you want to um, open it in an Excel program. So uh, back to the whiteboard. Now we've chosen the mobile monitoring software, we've installed the software, and now we've captured and viewed the incognito history. So now I'm going to give you guys a challenge. I want you to go over to flexispy.com using the link in my description, which will help support my channel, and go to the compatibility page and see if your Android phone that you want to monitor, see if it's compatible. And if it is compatible, then you might consider purchasing Flexispy uh, with my link. So I hope you guys found this video to be informative, useful. If you liked it, then please give it a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Um, so until then, I will see you guys next time. Be safe out there. Bye.